Going back to two videos ago, I have results one here, which simply does a join with customers to orders based on the customer ID, smashes both of them in an anonymous type, though we could really do whatever we want to. The translation of that turns into a single join, where we pass in the orders, lambda expressions to evaluate the left side and the right side, and then here is our select. I want to drive home the fact that the compiler combined the select with the join. It's an optimization that the compiler performs because the join function, its last argument here is a func that you can't see off the screen here, but I, I snipped it and brought it in for you. It's a func that takes a customer and an order, so it's essentially a select. So at that point, the designers of the compiler said, you know what, we don't need to do this and then just dot select that. This select essentially is degenerate. We've seen degenerate select clauses. So instead the compiler just stops and says, well, you can do it all with this one join call and leaves it like so. But what if I come in here and say, um, order by. Let's do an order by C dot contact name. I want to order the result sets by the contact name. Before I actually do that though, let's run this and recall that I am outputting the results of the first query first, and then I output the results of the second query here. You'll see that I'm just taking 10 from each result. And you'll see that those 10 results are the same. And I'll make you a promise that if we looked at the entire result set instead of just the first 10 records, we would see that all the records come out identical. Here is Maria, Anders, Maria, and then a few of Anna. All right, compare that to Maria here and Anna. Exact same results, just to prove that the compiler took this translated into this, and then a little farther using the static methods that we've seen before. Well, when we drop this order by in, the compiler can't slam the select directly in the join clause. The compiler has to do a little extra work, and we've seen the compiler do this work before using transparent identifiers. The compiler essentially has to take the result of the join and pass it from the join into the order by, and then the order by sends it on down through the select. So to pass that data, the compiler just says, okay, I'll take the C and the O, and I'll pack them into this anonymous type, and then let's actually grab this so we can translate it like the compiler does. I'll paste it right here and tab that in a little bit. Put a dot here, the compiler just says dot, capital O, control shift U was the hotkey there, capital B, Parenthesis, the compiler would like to put a C in here, but unfortunately what's coming in are these transparent identifiers. So it's almost like the compiler can say C, but instead what we have coming in are instances of this anonymous type. So I'll say transparent identifier, and then inside of transparent identifier we find O and C. So that works out quite nicely. Dot here, uh, uppercase select parenthesis, what's coming in? Well, the output type of the order by is the exact same type as its input. Again, its input are instances of this anonymous type, so the select is just getting these anonymous types after being ordered by the contact name. So again, transparent identifier, lambda, and then tp dot, tp dot, and hopefully nothing new there parenthesis, and we shall maintain the original semicolon if I can get Visual Studio to put it up there for me. Let's look at the results. We'll see that the results are still identical, except now they're ordered. Alejandra and then Alexander. Alejandra, Alexander. If we looked at the entire result set, in fact, why not? Let's take the takeoff of just one of these. We'll see that they are ordered by their contact name. We still have the join, thus we're able to get all the order dates out like so. So there you go, that's, that's just how the compiler translates. If it can't slam the select in with the join call, as we saw at the beginning, then it has to use the transparent identifier trick and send it on through.